Hello everybody, um, Stephanie Dietz here with um, Chalk Couture, designer with Chalk Couture, and I wanted to jump on here in my VIP group right quick and uh, show you guys a little project that I wanted to make real fast. I haven't went live in a while because, um, well, I've been a little sick, as you could probably tell from my voice. It's still not totally recovered, so sorry about that. <laughs> sorry about getting them um, in the camera shot, but uh, this is pre-recorded. It's not live, so um, hopefully you guys can um, hear me, understand me, and um, my voice isn't raking on your nerves. But anyway, I wanted to show you a um, cute little um, craft idea with um, our decorating idea with the Give Thanks transfer. This is the one that I've got a workshop that I only have like one more um, opening for her. Um, and what, um, what I'm doing is this is just a little glass uh, vase that I got from Walmart. Uh, and this is the smaller one. And what I wanted to show you is how you can put this on something and it, um, and it be um, something that you can wash off because I'm gonna use the chalk. I'm just gonna put my glass bowl down and let me make sure that you guys, that I'm in the shot, or the glass vase down, but I'm kind of setting it up, propping it so it doesn't roll anywhere. But anyway, so this is the uh, Give Thanks transfer, but I'm gonna do it in chalk because I wanna be able to wash it off. This is not gonna stay if I do it in chalk. Yeah. Get rid of my, um, I didn't mark my backing uh, the last time I used this. Give thanks. I'm just gonna initial it. Oh look, Georgia Tech initials. <laughs> Not doing good this year, but we will get better. But anyway, so um, then I'm gonna just remove the backing from my transfer. But again, what I like about this, and I've already fuzzed it, so it's not that. Um, it's not that. Let's see where is that leaf coming to? It's not that tacky. So then I'm just gonna lay it down and smooth it out. What you would have to be cautious of is if it was very, very tacky, it would be difficult to, um, to pull up after you paste it. And you don't wanna rip your transfer because you can use this transfer. Look at that, I think I've got, I think it's too, hang on. I'll move it down just a little. Ah, oh, still going off. Hang on. I'm having issues this morning. I am doing this in the morning before Samantha wakes up. I've been, when I'm sick, I can't function at night. Okay, barely there. Okay. I can't function at night. Uh, it takes me like a week or two to get over it. And I've been so tired. Um, and plus my voice has just not been there, you know. Um, so... Like I said, just make sure that it's not too tacky. You don't want to rip your transfer pulling it off, but this one's just fine. I don't want any bubbles. So I'm just filling where the open areas of the silk screen are, making sure there's no bubbles. But this is a really cute idea because I think you can, I want to change it and do a Christmas one in it. Maybe, maybe even do the fairy lights or what have you. But here's my black chalk transfer, or chalk paste. And it's a little on the thicker side. So I'm gonna add just a little bit. I've got my spray bottle with distilled water. Just a little bit of distilled water. So it's just a little chunky. So it's been hot. It's hot in my craft room sometimes when it's um, those days where it's, you know, record-breaking heat here in Georgia. So here is my black, and now I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna let that sit for a second. I'm gonna grab my orange peel, because I wanna do my pumpkin and orange peel, and I'm gonna stir it up and see how it looks. Only takes a moment to get prepared. 
I could have done this before I started the video, but you know, I want you guys to see the finish in the end, how quick and easy it is. And then what I'm gonna do is, like I said, I can wash it off and then do a Christmas one. And then I can wash that off and do a Valentine one. And I can wash that off and do, I could just keep going. Um, that's what I like about the chalk transfer on some surfaces. Like even our chalkboard. Lord, I splattered. That's hilarious. I splattered it on my craft mat doing that. I am so messy. So, forgive me. So, I'm going to grab my, uh, oh, let's see. I need a Clorox wipe. So messy. So, I'm just going to wipe it off my mat. This is the Chalk Couture mat, so cleanable very much so. <laughs> and hopefully I didn't. Now I've got water, so I'm just going to wipe, absorb this water, or liquid, it's not water, absorb that liquid off the, the transfer because I wiped it off. And this is distressed. You can see that these aren't perfect. These aren't perfect lines on the uh, letters on this Give Thanks. They're not perfect lines for the letters. They're not perfect. Um, well, it's not perfect uh, pumpkin. It looks distressed. So, you know, don't be afraid to just roll with it. So I think my black is ready. Yeah. It's ready. So I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna do the mini squidgy on this. And I'm just going to load it up. And I'm just gonna do the two colors, black and orange. The orange peel, this is black velvet. It doesn't take a lot of, you could do, you could get creative, you could do green. You could do um, a lot of different colors. You could do the give in one color, the thanks in another. You could get creative with it, but I'm not going to. I want to show you guys how quick and easy it is. Okay, so there's my black on. And I just, I'm putting it on a little thick. I'm not going to take it off this moment. I'm going to get me another small squeegee. They're hiding from me. Another small squeegee and get the orange paste. And do my pumpkin. Hopefully you guys can see this and my head's not in the way. I have to remember not to get my head in the way sometimes. So just easy. Put it on there how you how you need it to be. And then just take it off. And put your excess paste back in the jar. There we go. That's that one. Just don't have any lines. It's kind of hard on the round surface sometimes, but you just keep working with it and you're good. What I like about it is if you make a mistake, guess what? You just wash it off and redo it, especially on, on a surface like this. <clears throat> There's another leaf hiding under there for me. There we go. There we go. Easy peasy. All right, now we just peel straight up. Now, if I could keep this thing from rolling on me, I'll be a happy camper. Oh no, I smeared that one, pulling it off. So that's okay, because what I'm gonna do, you see where I smeared it, pulling it off? So I'm gonna take, you can wait until it's dry and, um. Where am I? How do I open this thing? You can wait until it's dry and just scrape it off. 
And what I'll do is um, I'll just clean it off. I can get my um, Clorox wipe and just clean that one little area off. Let's show you how that does. I'm gonna go all the way to here. And no, 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 no. <laughs> that was a little too, that one was way too wet. So then I'm gonna go all the way to here, right? Just created my bigger mess. But anyway, what's really cool about this is just, I can reposition it when it's dry and just do that area. So let's take this and get it off. And then that will be it. And then I can just redo it once it's dry. Nice. Comes off very nicely from the, especially from the glass. Right? And when it's dry, I'll just scrape it off and make sure that it's perfect. Look at that. Nice. Very nice. And then what I was going to do with this is um, I was going to take just, you can fill it with anything you want to, but I was going to fill it with some of these smaller ones and just set it out on my mantle as if my mantle doesn't have enough things. Let me tell you, I've been making things like crazy and putting them on my mantle. I'll have to show a picture of it. But anyway, so what I was going to do is I was going to fill it with these things and just put it on my mantle. Let's see. I don't want a huge white one. Oh, wow. Cool. Look at that. It's like an open little thing. And let's get a small one. Just put a lot of small ones in there on the bottom. Let's see if we can get one in there on that bottom. on a different orange one. But anyway, you get the picture, right? So then this thing would just be cute, loaded up on my mantle, and you can get other things to go in there. And that's, <laughs> I just dumped it out, trying to show you guys the full effect. But there it is. Oh, <laughs> I just keep doing that. Anyway, I just wanted to give you guys that idea real quick, and what I like about the glass and doing chalk on glass is that you can redo it. You can do it for the season. I love it. So anyway, that's it. See you guys. I hope you enjoyed the uh, video. Bye.